hi everyone so very very welcome into this new series of python programming tutorial where i am teaching you guys complete python from starting till the very end of it so that you guys can complete or achieve anything any project you want in this python programming language and if you are a beginner in this programming field then this should be your first language of choice so that you can gain confidence in the field of programming and my main intention is to make you feel that programming is no rocket science whereas an easy stuff for you all to master anyways in my previous video i have explained you guys about the string methods the string uh, functions how to manipulate those strings and today i'll be dealing with string slicing which is a bit more difficult side and bit more easier side as well it totally depends how you have understood the indexing part that i have explained you to you guys in my previous video of string okay so if you guys are not sure what that actually means go and see that video come over here then and then try to understand what string slicing is actually so let's deal with it so let me just add a command string slicing and let's for example i have a thing when it's alpha and let's give it a string that is a b c d e f G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z perfectly fine. Now, if I just simply print the alpha, we will be getting the string. So, I hope that there is no doubt in it how it's getting printed. Okay, now if I try to fetch the length of this particular variable that how many characters are present inside it so if i do so we will be getting 26 which is perfectly fine as well now we'll deal with strings i mean string slicing in my indexing part as i've told you we can use index to fetch a particular value for example if i write zero i will be getting a as my result right and if i give minus one then i'll be getting z as my, as my result but by using index we can only fetch a particular value or a single value in case what if we want to get a group of values so for that we will be using string slicing so if i want to say that from index zero i want till index five okay but this will not happen why this will only go from start value till stop minus one index okay from start index till the stop minus one so start index is zero so it will start from the index zero and it will go till index four which is five minus one four so index zero is my a index one is b two is c and so on like three four it will go till e so 0 1 2 3 4 a b c d e will be printed over here now if i just print it you can see a b c d e is been printed okay so this is the syntax of like how to perform string slicing okay the slicing of string is known as string slicing i i hope the uh, the the uh, name actually gives you a perfect image of what are we trying to do we are slicing the string into various parts depending upon the index value okay now if i say that from the second index till the eight minus one that is seventh index i want values so c d e f g h how the second index is zero one two which is c so the index will start from c till seven so two three four five six seven till h so c to h is our answer okay and this not only goes for the positive index but also goes for the negative as well for example i'm saying from minus one i want to minus uh, six okay so what i'll be getting if you perfectly or properly see the formula you get from starting so my start is minus six and my ending is stop minus one which is minus one minus one that gives us minus two so it will start from minus six index so minus six is what minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five minus six which is 
u u is our minus 6 so it will start from u and it will go all the way till minus 2 index because this is what our formula says stop minus 1 okay so if we run it what will be coming from u till y let's run it and you can see u v w x y is our answer and this is what we should get according to the formula that we have applied okay now i hope you have understood you just need a bit more practice i will be giving some practice examples to solve for and then i want you guys to solve it and give me the or send me the answers in the comment section okay now for example i'm telling i want to fetch the values from 0 till 26 so what i'll be getting i'll be getting till the 25 index or 25th index 25th index is what 25th index is the last index how because the length is 26 and the last index will be the length of minus 1 that is 26 minus 1 25 okay so if we print it we will be getting from a till z because our a is of 0th index which is our start index now i want to say that the step value will be 1 okay so let add the formula which is known as step if we do it let's see what happens you can see nothing changes by far it's all okay now if i change it to 2 what happens you can see the value drastically drops that means it will go on step value 2 that means it will start from 0th index that is a okay and then it will jump one value and jump to the next and the next will be printed okay so basically what is happening is start from 0 and go two steps that is this is the starting this is one this is two so two is c so after this one c will be printed okay from c again one two so e will be printed from e it becomes one two so g will be printed now like this it goes it it basically prints the standing uh value okay basically what i am trying to say i hope i am able to make you understand let's make you much more easy for it if i go and open paint and if i just simply paste it over here and if i zoom it a bit so it is easy for you guys to get what i am trying to say You can see this thing right so let me bring a pen this is a pen this is a pen let's reduce the thickness yeah that's fine let's use this red color completely fine so i'm telling that start from zeroth index which is this one okay now what it will do go to the second so z so this is zero this is one and this is two so it's standing on two so c will be printed now again this is the starting okay so one two e will be printed okay again this is the starting one two g will be printed and like this go till 26 now if i change this 26 to something else then till that particular index it will be going okay so i hope it is understandable for you guys now i have made this very clear still if you have doubt let me know in the comment section okay i'll try my best to make you understand this part so this is all about string slicing slicing same thing can be done for the negative part also if i go from here till minus 27 if i run it again same thing you will get okay if i run it till minus 10 see till this you will be getting q s u w y okay because it is starting from here so one then two then three four like this okay 
so this is all about string slicing so yeah this is all about this particular topic i hope you have understood i have tried my best to make you understand whatever i could have like done from my end okay so still if you have any doubt regarding the string slicing do let me know in the comment section i'll try my best to solve the doubts and see you guys in my next video with a new topic known as operators so until then have a great day keep on practicing keep on learning and see you guys on the next one goodbye